I used to watch a lot of these videos from Alex Costa, Alex Marino from Alpha M, Jose Zuniga from Teaching Men Style, I think that's the channel, Better Ideas, Hamza, etc, etc. The first videos that I watched, I think were from Alpha M, and then I started getting recommended Alex Costa videos, and that just went on and on and on, and I kept being recommended other YouTubers, along this sort of self-help, better yourself kind of videos. And here comes one of the first reasons why I think that self-help is ruining your life. If you're in a bad place, it doesn't matter how much somebody tries to tell you that you should do or how to better yourself. Sometimes I remember watching these videos and feeling bad about myself, not taking the action, the things that they were telling me that I should improve, taking care of my skin, working out, having a good haircut, doing my hair regularly, whitening my teeth, it goes on and on and on. I wasn't taking actions on the things that they were telling me that I needed to improve on. But the simple action of me watching the videos, somewhere in the back of my twisted mind, made me believe that I was indeed taking action and doing the things that they were telling me that I should improve on. Does that make any sense? Watching the videos made me believe that I was improving myself, while in reality, I was the total opposite. I was just watching those videos to make me feel good about myself. At the end of the day, if you don't have the willpower to improve yourself, and yes, I'm saying willpower, because it does take a lot of willpower to improve yourself. If you're overweight and you have to work and lose 40, 50 pounds, that takes a lot of willpower. It doesn't matter how many videos you watch about getting shredded, about getting in good shape, diet. If you don't have the willpower to do it, it's like you're just hearing what you want to hear to feel good about yourself without taking the actual steps needed to improve yourself. You're just lying to yourself. And the simple and in all appearances good action of you watching those videos is the act of self-deception. Is the way your mind is trying to convince itself that you're actually working on your problems and improving yourself. Human beings are extremely good at lying to ourselves. It's something that we do constantly, sometimes without even realizing it. One of the most difficult things that you can do in this life is be honest with yourself. I wanna ask you a question. I want you to be completely honest about the answer. All the videos that you watch about improvement, about self-help, are you really taking action on those videos that you see? Are you really putting into practice all those techniques for self-improvement? It took me more than three years to start taking action on all those videos that I was watching. I was in my house playing video games, eating Doritos, smoking too much, drinking way too much. I knew the theory, but I was doing the same old, same old. Now looking back, I wanna find out why I was doing that. I don't think there's anyone, absolutely anyone that doesn't know what they should be doing to improve themselves. Usually there are very simple basic things. Don't smoke, work out, take care of your health, don't eat too much junk food, be kind to people that you love if they love you back. Simple basic things you know you should be doing. It's so funny now looking back that I was watching videos about how to get shredded. Meanwhile, waking up in the morning and having a pack of chocolate cookies, having pizza for lunch, eating a chocolate bar for dessert, while watching videos on how to get shredded. When you're doing all the wrong things, while you're watching someone telling you that it is possible to do the things that you should be doing, it's possible to get shredded, it's possible to make a lot of money, it's possible this, it's possible that, you're soothing your own self-perception of knowing that you're doing everything wrong because you're seeing someone that's doing everything, well, not everything, but they're doing the right things. But you're not looking at the full picture of the person that you maybe want to be like or you admire. You think you should be doing everything that that person's doing, but you don't know that person's life. They might have a Ferrari and a hot girlfriend, but God knows, and I truly mean God knows, what's happening in their house, in their life, their real life, when their camera shuts off and real life begins. Not what they display on social media. Maybe their girlfriend is cheating on them. Maybe they're cheating on their girlfriend and they have, they have a horrible relationship. Maybe they have a cocaine addiction. Who knows? You and me, we don't know, we don't have a clue. We tend to admire and want to be like this people that we don't even have a clue about how their real life is. We only see what they display on social media and that's not their real life. I assure you 100% that's not their real life. 
Another reason why I think that self-help videos are ruining your life is because sometimes in life you are meant to feel like shit. You are meant to go through a rough patch. There's probably going to be more times in your life when you feel like shit than when you're happy. And sometimes the impression I get from all these self-help videos is that all you need to do to feel good or to get out of a rough patch is movement. Do something, go jump in a lake, go jump in a pool, go work out, go for a run. That'll make you feel better. It's not true. You are going to feel like shit a million times in your life. And that's not going to last forever. You should know that. What you should learn is how to deal with that and not run away from it. Going to jump in a pool or in a lake or going for a run, it's not going to change the fact that your life is shit or that you're feeling like shit. And I'm not going to stand here and tell you how you should learn to deal with that and what you should do to not feel like shit because I am not qualified firstly to do it. What I can tell you from my own experience and having felt like shit a million times in the past and not knowing that that wasn't going to last forever, not knowing how to deal with it. What I want to tell you is that you can learn how to deal with it. And I want to tell you that it won't last forever. If I tell you what works for me, it might not work for you. It might not be the specific details of what I did to get out of a rut or what I did to not feel like shit. It might not work for you. And in a way, we all know some of the basic things. Don't take drugs, take care of your health, eat healthy, take care of yourself in terms of working out. Try to not lie to yourself or others more than you have to. We all know these things. Deep down, we know them and yet we don't do them. Why don't we do them? Again, I'm not qualified to say, but if I stand here and I say, following a schedule every day helped me immensely, not smoking, not drinking, eating healthy, and this is how you do all those things. I would be in a way lying to you because it had to start from me. I wanted it to change. I wanted to not be at home playing video games and eating Cheetos and not doing anything with my life. Until you yourself come to that realization like I did, it doesn't matter how many self-help videos you watch, how many life gurus you follow, how many how to be a millionaire speeches you hear, until you wake up one morning and decide that you've had enough, until you reach the tipping point, there's nothing nobody can say to make you do it. Thank you very much for watching and like always, see you in the next one.